absolutely. I think it's an informed discussion and the one that we have to have. And everybody's making some really good points, and it's a very tough moment. Uh, the idea of selling right now, I, I can't say that I, I disagree with that because I think the market's going <laughs> forward. At the same time, this is not the level that I would do. I think that you could get another bounce. But I also want to point out, and I'm going to be very straight about this, you had a guy on this week, Jeff Dunlop, and I intemperately uh, was critical of him. And he's proving to be very right. And I just want to get that off my chest because I'm sorry about what I said. It was not right. This is the heat of the battle moment. This is the most I've seen since the, you know, since the, really, since the Great Depression or, or, you know, or Great Recession, where there's just a lot of different temperaments. And I just kind of want to cool things myself by saying I shouldn't have said what I did. Yeah, I mean, he, he's obviously, you know, negative. He said that we're in a bear market. Um, we're down what? But we, I agree with him. I've been recommending that people own some CDs. I actually have never recommended that since uh, 2007. I bought some CDs myself. Obviously, I'm 10 years older than I was then. Uh, I think gold works. But most importantly, I'm completely cognizant of what Kevin O'Leary said, which is that the mixed message was hard. Uh, Do I want to be like what Josh said, depend upon the Fed? I don't really know. All I know is is that we have, this week, Micron bad, Accenture bad, Carnival Cruise bad, FedEx bad, a number of different retailers are bad. Housing is terrible. The banks are bad. I don't even know what oil selling. Autos are bad. And what's working? Procter and Gamble. Yeah, I mean, this whole notion of of what the Fed has done this week, Jim. You've been critical of the Fed. Uh, everybody knows that. What do you make of of Powell versus Williams today with Steve? It, it seemed to temporarily cool off the market, but then we pretty much gave those gains. In fact, now we're negative by 73 on the Dow. Oh, no, we're going to go lower. Look, I think actions speak louder than words. Uh, Fed did hike. I also felt that what, when this constant, like, we are listening, I don't want them to listen. I want them to repudiate. I want them to say, you know what, the companies are really starting to say different things. Now, I know that there are issues even on this panel about how much homework that the Fed does, and that's fine. All I'm saying is the companies I speak to, which may be different from the ones they speak to, have really seen a pretty quick downtick. I think people don't think that there can be this big a decline. But what are the banks telling you? Lending starting to go down. Housing is just terrible. So, I mean, look, I'm in a world where the fundamentals have deteriorated. And therefore, I think it's not just sentiment. I think that sentiment is terrible. But sentiment is terrible because the fundamentals got bad. Do you, do you worry that, you know, Gunlock said we're, we're going to be in this bear market uh, and it's going to last for a long time. Uh, that, is that the greatest fear at this point, that maybe it's well, a, it, exacerbated by Fed, uh, a policy error, but that this ugly market that we're in could actually last for longer than we think? Well, you know, look, I think Jeff is unbelievably good. And I, of course, watched every minute of it wrapped. And he's like the best bond guy. He's been my bond guru forever. Uh, what, what, what I uh, reacted to was more of the, I know that people are going to say, get out now. If, uh, I had a lot of people who watched me said, you know, I just heard Gunlock really respect him, which I do. He's saying, just get out now. And I, I don't want to do that. Cause even, it didn't even, in 2007, we were in tremendous systemic risk. It, it made a lot of sense to just dump, okay? And I was in favor of it. Someone on, on Today Show said, Jim, you're yelling uh, fire in a crowded theater. A theater. And I said, yeah, but the theater is burning. And the market was substantially higher, then proceeded to lose 50%. So my take is this. I, I don't want people to be scared. I think you do need a, uh, more cash. I think you need to be a lot more defensive. I did say that I want to buy CDs. I'm actually on the same side of the trade of the man I respect, Jeff Gunlock, and that's why I say I am sorry and I apologize, and I tend not to do much of that, frankly. Uh, but he, he's, you know, the idea of the five years made people that, who watch my show say, I guess you love him, we should tell everything. I don't want people to do that. I do want them to be much more cautious, and I wish I'd been more cautious, but, you know, no disrespect. The guy's really good, and he made some good points, but when you say the, the nuclear winner part, I, I just know that a lot of people get scared, and I, I want them to be calm, make rational decisions to lighten up, but not to just wholesale sell, because, look, I mean, if you are a diversified portfolio, and you're sitting there with McCormick, and you got some Procter, and you got some gold, and you got some of these, you know, higher-yielding stocks where they can pay the dividend, you're, you're going to make some money, and I just, I just don't want to people to panic. Under, understood, um, and I'm sure Jeffrey's appreciative of, of what you said, uh, Jim. I've communicated to him directly, too. I hope he did take my email because I feel badly. I respect him. He's a great guy, and I, it's the heat of the moment. I make some mistakes in what I say. 
Uh, and I want to be a man enough to, to own up to it because that guy doesn't deserve it. Let me let me ask you this. Uh, we play off the top of our show, you know, all of these issues that the market is facing. And it's the shutdown. It's Mattis walking out the door and slamming it behind him. It's the it's the Fed. It's it's everything. Um, yes, we're oversold. Right. You've said it yourself. But what right. is the catalyst? What is the catalyst to stop this selling? Well, I think that there will be uh, we need new money in and we need people to believe that, you know what, the stock is the market has come down enough that uh, the selling dries up, the redemptions end, and we get a lot of accidental high yielders. We get companies that we know that can pay the dividends that are suddenly yielding a lot. Uh, we would love I don't want to be too Fed dependent in the sense we would love uh, for Powell to change his mind. But I think the data is going to I think the data is going to make him change his mind. But that's unfortunately not going to be for a couple of months. It's not going to be the January meeting. It's too big, too big a switch. But we need Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Netflix, the Cloud Kings, all to stop going down. And they won't go stop going down until the ETFs that are selling them all finish, finish the redemption stop. And you'll know. I mean, but every one of those has a negative. The Facebook downgrade and, and Apple, we just saw John Ford talk, talk to Qualcomm. Apple lost is terrible. Who knows what's going on with Netflix? I think Apple is doing well, but nobody really cares. We have to see the selling and the stocks have started bringing us down decline or <laughs> the velocity to decline. And I really don't know yet what happens. I do feel that we saw when Williams was a little more, I would say, uh, attuned that we could get a bounce. But that's not, like, like Josh said, that's not what it's about. We need to see the selling stocks because the fundamentals aren't this bad. And right now, we got so much bad news about the economy from these major companies that you have to let it run its course. And can I blame anyone for not selling Goldman Sachs? If I have to read, what, is another Asian country that's going to get the Goldman? All the things that are pointing against these stocks are real. None of these are phantom. And I need to see people stop being desperate. Yeah. And right now they're desperate to get out. Jim, uh, you're a gentleman. Thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate Again, it. I'm going to reiterate. I apologize. I never mean to say anything of people I respect. I do not mean to be as intemperate as I was. Okay? Yeah, you enjoy your vacation.